All right, well, that's good to see Elise. Thank you. It's 620 in today's health. Think you know where the dirtiest place in your house is? Well, you might be scrubbing the wrong place. Yeah, Reed Binion directs our sponges to the germs that we should be tackling. There are germs lurking everywhere in our homes, from the kitchen to the bathroom. But what exactly should we be cleaning and how often? In the bathroom, don't just focus on scrubbing the toilet. It's actually cleaner than you think. According to microbiologist Charles Gerber, if you want to cut down on the bacteria in the rest of the room, make sure you close the lid before you flush. Fecal matter can get tossed several feet in the air, which means your toothbrush, makeup, and even towels could get hit. Speaking of towels, those moist cloths are the perfect place for bacteria like E. coli to grow. So make sure you wash them with hot water every three or four days, Gerber says. In the kitchen, those rags and sponges used to wipe down everything are perfect at collecting bacteria like E. coli and salmonella. Think you can just throw them in the microwave or dishwasher to clean? Think again. Your best bet is to just replace them weekly. And surprisingly, water reservoirs like the ones in your coffee machine are one of the germiest places in the kitchen, according to the National Safety Foundation. Check the owner's manual on how to clean it monthly. For today's Health Minute, I'm Reed Binion. This was the perfect story for breakfast time, wasn't yes, it? Yes, and we're sorry about that. <laughs> yes, but important oh. information, yes. Oh.